Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for SiH4. This is silicon tetrahydride. So the first thing we need to do when we look at the molecular geometry for a molecule, we need a Lewis structure to understand how many pairs of electrons we have between atoms and then if we have lone pairs. So we look at the steric number. That's the number of things bonded to our central atom here. We have one, two, three, four hydrogens. So we'll have a steric number of four and we want to look how many lone pairs we have. All of these pairs of electrons are between atoms. They're involved in chemical bonds. So these are chemical bonds. They're bonded pairs of electrons. We don't have any lone pairs. We have zero lone pairs. Because of that, we go down and here we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry for SiH4 and the bond angle should be 109.5 degrees. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the purple will represent the Si atom, that central Si atom. We'll add four hydrogen atoms. One, two, you see they're spreading out, pushing away from each other. Three, and then finally four, and that gives us a tetrahedral molecular geometry. If we want to look at the bond angles, they should be 109.5 degrees. If we want to look at the electron geometry, that takes into account the lone pairs, except there aren't any lone pairs. So the electron geometry, that's also going to be tetrahedral. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. You could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry. A is the central atom, that's the SI. X, that's the number of things bonded. We have our one, two, three, four of those hydrogen atoms. And E, that's the number of lone pairs, but we don't have any lone pairs. So often it's just written AX4. And if you look up AX4, it's going to be tetrahedral. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for silicon tetrahydride, SiH4. Thanks for watching.